Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Here we go. Yeah. Hi, I'm Rakhun Amuji. As always, welcome back on to my video session once again. We are on Fujitsu Stylist Stylistic R seven two seven. Okay, tablet again. Where we're going to be giving you more info on there can be more information for for a detailed on specs, RAM, storage, and GPU. Okay, and even the memory cards that this thing accepts. We're gonna go right into this because. I think it's really important to know what kind of memories you're getting out of this system, right? I tell you right now, straight, the memories in this system are just insane. Yeah, it's totally incredible. First of all, when we look at the actual device, right, we know it's a 12.5 screen size all right horizontally the inch which is a pretty large screen in my previous video i mentioned that the system is just capable of doing 1920 times 1080 in fact that is not correct okay we're gonna go into that bit later on, not right now, okay? Because we're gonna, I'm gonna be talking about some stuff before all this, the things I just mentioned, right? When we look at the device, how can we make this thing stand, right? Do you need to buy another stand? Has we used to even? gives an option to buy another stand for this device no they haven't the reason for that is we don't need one because if you look on the the picture on my previous video if you color rear of it there is a thing that is inside so basically you pull it out right and it goes down right and that becomes the stand on this device so you don't need to buy an extra stand nothing at all man it's incredible you just take it out and that's it that touches the surface and your tablet's at the front it just stands like that because it's got a stand with it that comes out on the back it's got a very lot of swivel to it uh, the stand has which I already mentioned before, which I'm not going to go into too much into that again. So the swivels are really good that takes you from tablet to a notebook position, which is a really, really good thing to have, which makes it easier for some. I mean, a notebook, when I be a notebook, I mean like tilting to the, nearly to the ground. That is really good when so if your device is that high it goes like that low right like that and your level right of the screen you can you can write on it 
It's very easy to write when it tilts a bit lower. To the maximum, I will say, wherever it tilts to the ground level. With that, you can write like a note, notepad and draw away, just using like a drawing board. It's really, really good. It's very good. When I mean like a drawing board, right, you probably seen when you go into classes, they draw on the, these kind of boards on the walls, don't they? They have a style like that, or they have another drawing board where they have like stand up. These are all drawing boring board styles, but it's given you in a slight way by Fujitsu and any other brand who makes this slight kind of devices, which makes it really interesting the way it's made. If you prefer that you don't want to use it on the tabletop to do your writing or your drawings, you can put the stand back inside and can, then you can put it right in front of your, your legs and just hold it with one hand and then with the left and whatever your hand you have, you can draw away. So it makes it really good and the other thing is that if you're even outside um, you want to do some writing or you're sitting in a park you see a nice environment and you want to do some drawing on it and you got like a, a sunny day right it's got an anti-glare screen all right it's got an anti-glare screen where the light the reflections won't spoil your experience all right it gets away from that because it's anti-glare anti-glare you know what it means even in spectacles so the light doesn't go inside your in your eyes it protects you from it that's what anti-glare really is usually anti-glare in spectacles is for when you're using displays especially like laptop screens and monitors then you're the person who you're talking to in the opticians right he'll advise you if you're using a lot of screens to have an anti-glare can you see anti-glare is made for that where the light and reflections won't go through it you can still see the screen and even with a, a person with the spectacles we can still see even the reflections shining upon our eyes hey anti glare is a really interesting thing if you're really that kind of person yeah these are the two primary things and the third thing that was that it's like a waterproof tablet isn't it? where the water even if it goes on the screen it will go inside the screen and then even in the caps it keeps them protected really well at all times the thing about having protection right if it's a very heavy rain then you are gonna get problems with this device even on the screen and even is protected by the caps no water will go through it and I do say that it's really important to have the protective caps over the tablets because if you are in these kind of environments that now I mean if you look nowadays weather it's all like rainy day in it and like which there's loads of snow is coming upon us and this is the way to protect your device uh, so anyway this is some basic information about the device that it's really good and it's pretty strong chassis as well. It doesn't break so easily. It was made, it's not one of the tough book style chassis, but it still is a very good casing on it. It's a very strong casing, I would say. So let's get into the system a bit more depth into the hardware and let's see what we make out of it. So the processor it uses 
right the maximum processor you can get in this system is a Intel Core i7 V Pro 7th Gen dash 7600U processor yeah now the numbers telling you right 7600U is telling you is a 7th Gen if that number is higher right you are into a 8th 9th or a 10th gen in the intercore i7 uh, processors is the uh, 7th gen 7600u a good cpu yes it's a very high performance it's a very good performer i've tested it i couldn't see uh, any problems using the 7th gen I mean uh, you don't need to worry about the 8th gen or 9th gen or 10th gen because the 7th gen is good as having an 8th gen I know the higher the gen the better the speed uh, is of the CPU but the 7th gen is pretty good because it is a Intel Core i7 uh, processor so it's a pretty good one okay so don't think it isn't yeah it's quite good all right uh now it uses two cores four slash four threads up to 3.4 gigahertz all right it's that it's that fast I mean, 3.4 gigahertz is really fast, man. The reason it's up to 3.4 gigahertz, right? Okay, we got two cores and four threads. That's fine. Now, the actual up to 3.4 gigahertz. It's th that kind of speed because it's on Intercore i7, all right? On the 7th gen. So this is a really good speed. It's really fast. It will take you up to 3.4 gigahertz. All right, so yeah, it's quite impressive in speed wise. It's very a high performance CPU, and top of the other components they've added onto this the motherboard. All right, whichever one is got. Okay, the chipset right is integrated in CPU now integrated in cpu right this uh the cpu get with it it's built within this chipset all right the intel hd graphics right is integrated in the cpu yeah Oh, I'm sorry. Not not the not the not the GPU. Uh, it's the chipset. Sorry, it's the chipset which is built into the CPU. All right. The chipset you get on this uh, CPU. This is the uh, GPU you will get. Don't worry. We'll go into that. What GPU? Will get into that. We're not going to go into it right now, so we'll go into that a bit later on. Right, RAM. RAM. This is very important because there's various CPUs available on this system. Now you're going to know all of them. We're going to mention all of them. The first one is uh, Intel Core i3-7100U processor and the memory you will get out of that right will be 4 GB all right you only will get 4 GB out of it the next one is Intel Core i5-7200 U okay Yeah, I think that one is about 
uh, 8 GB. All right. Okay. Uh, the next one is again Intercore i5 7300U processor that also gives you 8 GB. All right. If you have the, the last one, the lightest one in this system, which is a Intel Core i7 7600U processor, you'll get a whopping 16 GB. Yeah, so that gives you the lightest. CPU, you will go get 16 GB, all right? That's the best one to go for, really, I would say. If you prefer the other ones, the choice is totally up to you. Because with memory or RAM, what you want to call it, random access memory, the good thing about that, having more memory, right, it gets shared to the GPU, then your GPU does a good job of it. All right, it, your GPU will have more memory, right? Not only that, whatever memory is left there, that's gonna go for your applications and it's gonna run your programs pretty fast. All right, so it's much, it's, it's far better if you go for the highest, like, you know, 8 GB or a 16 GB will be highly recommended. All right, so it it is like that. It's far better if you do tend to buy like that. All right. The memory slots, right? It has on this system. It's all the same on all the CPUs. All right. Don't think the difference if you got different. No. Is the LP DDR3 1600 MHz? It's the same one for all of the CPUs that's available on this system. So there's no difference there. Okay. Graphics. This is really important. This is the part I didn't cover properly previously. Now we're going to cover the graphics part properly. All right. It has a Intel HD Graphics 620. Mainly nowadays systems, when you're going to buy even the latest systems, they're not going to write Intel HD on it. They're going to write Intel UHD Graphics 620. All right. Basically, the official manufacturer, obviously, the system was released back in 2017. Back in the time, this was called Intel HD Graphics 620. This same GPU, if you get it nowadays, it will be called Intel UHD Graphics 620. It's the same, but where it says HD, they've, they've changed the name to UHD. All right. So basically, this one is, of course, the same one. So this one is also Intel UHD Graphics 620. All right, is the same one. All right, so it's exactly the same one. They just changed the name from 2019 and onwards. So don't get confused. Nothing confusion there. All right, now we know the actual display, right? What well, I like about this system. On screen, when I'm going to be using, like, you know, using the keyboard, or we're going to use using tablet mode. All right, the tablet mode is that you just use a tablet, and when it's a notebook, you're connecting a keyboard, it turns into a laptop PC. It will be a resolution in 1920 times 1080. All right, on screen is that resolution. All right, now we're going to go further within these graphics resolutions all right HDMI 
these are all connectivities to your monitors and television whatever display you got alright for HDMI you will get a pretty high resolution 40 96 times 2160 what resolution is that that is a 4k resolution all right the next one is a VGA which is the standard one you get every time on uh, integrated GPUs okay which is um, uh, the one you always have a built-in on your motherboards all right that one is 1920 times 1080 which is a 1080p HD resolution okay again the same one as your screen uh, external display okay first of all what does it mean by external display external display means having another screen all right If you want to connect another screen to it, right? I like a monitor. You're gonna get forty ninety six times twenty three hundred. Sorry, four four zero nine six times two three zero four is for your external display. It's like connecting another display, all right? I don't really understand that because. It's not telling you any connectivity, is it? Because if you look at the other ones, it's telling you which uh, connection port you're using. But this just mentions just external display. All right. So it's it's some kind of connectivity with the external display. You get that out of it, which is a different one to the other ones. And the final one is a display port, which is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, display port. Uh, just hold on. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. That one is also forty ninety six time twenty three zero four. It's a four K resolution again. All right. So HDMI, right, and Display Port, and external display. They're all 4K resolutions. So let's quickly go through this again. HDMI 4096 times 2160. External display 4096 times 2304. Display port 4096 times 2304 again. They're all 4K resolutions. The one which isn't a 4K resolution is a VGA, of course. It wouldn't go that high anyway. It's still a HD. VGA is 1920 times 1080, which is a 1080p HD resolution. There you have it. Now let's go on to the memory card slots. Listen really carefully what memory cards you have. All right. It's very important you have the right memory card, the memory you're looking for. All right micro SD 2 GB all right micro SD HC 32 GB uh, micro SD XC 128 GB okay now you have speed classes on memory cards you probably know that like this a class one two three four and it goes to up to class 10 don't they but this one goes up to uhs dash one it goes up to that you know it's beyond class 10 this is so if you got all these classes you can go to uhs dash one really good very very good indeed okay so it's pretty high okay SIM card slot. Which one is it? It's a micro SIM card. 
okay this is the models which are compatible with this so make sure you read the PowerSys SIM card slot right and it has a micro SIM card slot in there to put your micro SIM card okay it accepts 4G 4 slash LTE all right these are the ones you get so everything is actually clear now in more depth knowledge for this system this system is pretty crazy man it's very uh, powerful high performance on screen is 1080p HD and with displays like HDMI display pro and external display it gives you 4k resolution all right and if again you don't have any of these ports on your monitor but you still want to connect it to a large screen you still have the option of connecting it through a VGA port okay so you still have that connection which is a blue color whatever whatever color they put it <laughs> they usually is a blue color isn't it yeah so you can still use that but that will take you up to only 1080p HD resolution still 1080p HD is a very good standard resolution and some people don't have these kind of ports you know like HDMI and display ports some people don't have these kind of monitors I've seen few people don't have these ports on their monitors but every monitor will have VGA of course it will because you know every monitor gets connected for my desktop PC to the monitor so a primary it's always going to have VGA so on there on your monitor isn't it so you it's a really good thing that for just to uh had four connections for your port for your displays vga hdmi display port and external display so it gives you four of them which this device is in very impressive indeed all right very impressive then you have choices for your memory ram four eight 16 GB selection on models okay that it depends on the intercore you select i3 i5 i5 i7 because it's four of them all right by the way basically there's one called inter i3 Intel i5 all right there's another one called Intel i5 v pro Intel core i7 v pro all right they all got these kind of v pros in there v pro is a lot better anyway then you got storage 128 256 512 gb these are all SSDs by the way for your storage not a hard drive it's an SSD so it's a pretty fast one and usually I've seen those devices they only up to 128 they don't even have 256 or 512 GB this is incredible because like a device from 2017 it's taking up to 512 GB of SSD really impressive really impressive and then you got a GPU, right? Which is a Intel HD or Intel UHD graphics, 620, whatever you want to call it. It's got all this kind of stuff. And then you got memory cards, types, micro SD, micro SD HC, 
micro SD XC with different memories. Depends which memory you want. So there you have it. Everything's been covered. This device is really good. Like it's you don't need a stand. It's got a stand that comes out from the back. It's got a large screen at 12.5, anti-glare, light and no reflections will go on it. And then you got a tablet mode, then you got a notebook mode where you need to attach the magnetic keyboard and then you got a laptop PC. So it's this thing has it all. It's one of the best thing to own. You know what? I will say this is a great purchase. Alright. It's really good for work web browsing, email, edit documents, writing, drawing for graphic designers and even playing PC games, right? Most majority we play them on non-HD, 720p, some can be accepted at 1080p HD. I doubt that you can play any game of 4K on your displays so don't try and do that you do have options of non-hd 720 1080 hd it will able to play some games on 1080 hd yeah you will able to play some so this device is good for everything really isn't it? and it's got good protection uh from rain on the screen and even from the ports which has caps this thing has it all man it's the greatest thing you can ever buy for mobile desktop experience using um, the cradle. All right, with the cradle, you don't need to use a keyboard because the cradle has all the ports to turn this thing into a desktop experience. All right. It's really good for that. In our next video, we will be talking about displays such as monitors and televisions. We know it's very suitable on screen, right? On the display, right? Where it's good to use it on a 1080p HD resolution. But how does it fare on monitors and television screens? With 1080p HD and 4K resolutions on larger displays, monitors and televisions. So I hope this has been very informative for you today. It's been pretty interesting. We're giving you depth knowledge full information about this device from top to bottom now you have no issues it's all been covered by me so there you have it i hope you guys like my video session today and it's giving you good knowledge on this device from the tablet to the keyboard and to the larger displays including monitors and televisions. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.